Well, hello everybody. Welcome into this video editing tutorial brought to you as always by tutvid.com. And today I want to talk about this cool like split screen swiping image animated mask transition that you can create in Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, I don't know how to describe it. I guess here, check out this preview of it that I'll play uh, while I'm talking here so you can see exactly the type of effect that we will learn how to create in this tutorial. Uh, I think you're really going to like it. If you do video editing, if you work with any anything that has an intro, really, a TV show, a movie, a wedding video, or something for your friend's band, um, or really anything. It's just an interesting way to create a transition or split between two different scenes. Um, and really, the sky is the limit with this particular effect. You can apply it in all kinds of different angles and directions and everything. So without further ado, let's check it out and get started. All right, so here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm gonna go ahead and I've, I've got three video clips here from a music video that I helped shoot a number of years ago. I am going to right click on this uh, clip and choose new sequence from clip. And it's just gonna throw the, the clip onto my timeline and uh, give me a sequence that's perfectly set to uh, everything, all you know, the video size and frame rate and everything like that. Now I stripped the audio out of these video clips because there is music playing behind it and I don't think I have the rights uh, to play it on this tutorial and uh, lest YouTube strike me with a copyright violation, I'd rather just leave the audio out. Um, so. Uh, the audio is not really essential here. So basically we have this clip where it begins out of focus and they throw the guy down the street and he starts like, you know, singing and doing his thing and um, all of that. So what I want to do is I want him to begin and then I want to cut to this scene here uh, where they're all kind of standing on a bridge. So what I'll do is I'll take this scene out to about... Yeah, right about right about where he he begins really getting in into his groove and you know his arms and his shoulders and just a lot of confidence and right there you know maybe we'll cut to this new scene but what we want to do is something a little bit more interesting than just a simple jump cut so we're gonna come over here to the effects panel we're gonna go to video effects not transitions but video effects we're gonna come down to transition in the video effects. Um, folder and we're going to choose linear wipe. I'm going to drag it and I'm going to drop it here onto the south-05 MOV. This is just the video file that's on top here. And you can see I have a linear wipe that shows up in my effect controls panel. Now I'm going to select my timeline up here and hit my plus uh, button to just zoom in a little bit. And what I want to do is here under transition completion, I want to just hit the little stopwatch to drop a, a keyframe. Now I want this transition to take place. This, uh, this sequence is, let's check our sequence settings real quick. It is basically 24 frames per second, 23, 9, 7, 6. So basically 24 frames per second. So I want this transition to take place over the course of about a second. So I'm going to hold down my shift key and I'm going to hit the right arrow key once, 10 frames, twice, 20 frames. So 20 frames, that's perfect. And what I'm going to do here is change transition. Compl well, actually, I'm just going to drop a keyframe because I want transition completion to be 0% there. I'm going to hit this little arrow key, which you can see, go to previous keyframe. And here I'm going to set transition completion to 100%. So now if we just play through the video clip real quick, you're going to see there's the transition. So it's just a quick, quick wipe across the screen. Now you might say, well, hey, why can't we use some other transition? That's ridiculous that we would just, you know, do that. Well, because there's a number of things we can do here with the linear wipe. Number one, we can we can set it to an angle, right? So you can go with like this cool angular uh, wipe. So if we just try this out, we can see we just slice across the screen that way, which is pretty cool. But most importantly is what I want to do with this. So I'm going to select south-05 and I'm going to select linear wipe and I'm going to delete that. That was just to get us accustomed to the linear wipe in less than five minutes. What I want to do is create an effect where the top of this video clip, the south-05 appears while the bottom, their legs walking toward the camera is still running beneath it. And then after you know a second or so, the bottom of this video clip slides into place. So here's how we create that type of effect using linear wipe and some masking. So here's what we want to do. We want to create a new item. So come back to your project bin, go to new item and choose title. And we're going to name this title mask. I'm going to hit OK. And what I want to do, I know that this video is 1920 by 1080. So I'm going to grab my rectangle tool. I'm going to draw out just a small rectangle here. I'm going to select it. And up here in the transform properties, I am going to set the width to 1920. And I'm going to set the height to half of 1080, which will be 540. 
So I'm going to set, well, not 54, but 540. Let's try that again. 540. There we go. Now, the X position here needs to be half of the width. Now, the width is 1920, so half of that is 960, I believe. Yep, that looks about right. And the Y position needs to be half of 540, which is 270. So we're going to set that to 270. And you can see that places this mask perfectly in the top left corner, runs perfectly to the top right corner, and runs halfway down uh, our video clip. So when, when we use this as a mask, we can basically tell Premiere, look, only show the bit that this title is covering, which would be the top half of our video. So I'm going to close this, and we have our mask. Now what I want to do is drag this out and place it on top of our South-5 video clip. Before we do anything else, I'm going to drag this out. We really don't need it to be that big. I can just drag it out to about there because our, our actual animation is not going to be that long. But what I need to do before I do anything else, I need to right-click on this and nest this video clip. So I'm going to choose Nest, and I'm going to name this... Uh, animated masks and I'm gonna hit OK you can see this gives me this animated masks uh, nest nested clip sort of sequence here uh, in my project bin so if I double click on this animated masks here in the timeline it's gonna open the animated masks timeline so I now have a dedicated timeline for these masks so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate or I'm gonna drag a duplicate of this mask out onto uh, my timeline but I need to do it after I have placed the animation of this mask. So it's not going to make a lot of sense, but it's all going to come together when we when we create this mask. Just hang with me here. We're going to animate this mask first. Uh, so here, beginning at zero, what do we need to do? We need to go into our video effects transition, grab the linear wipe, drag it onto this mask. We're beginning at, we're beginning at frame one, just the very first frame, maybe frame zero. And we're going to set transition completion at 100%. So the mask isn't even on screen. And we're going to hit the stopwatch to drop a keyframe. Then we're going to go one, two, I'm going to maybe go 30 frames because I want it to go a little bit slower. And I'm going to drop a keyframe and I'm going to set transition completion at 0%. So you can see here that that mask just animates right in from the right side. Great. Um, now, if I want it, I could add a little bit of a wipe angle to it. So maybe let's go 70 degrees, or maybe I want the angle to go the other direction, so I'd go like 110 degrees. There we go, something like that. I think I like that wipe direction a little bit better. So boom, we wipe in from that side. That looks great. Now, what we want to happen is we want that first half to wipe in, and right well, if we just hit go to next keyframe, there we go. This is exactly where the animation stops. And we want it to maybe hang around for a couple seconds. So I'll go, I'll hold down my shift key and hit the right arrow key once, twice. There's 20 frames. Once, twice. There's 20 more frames. And maybe once, twice. So we're a little under three seconds that uh, this is going to hang around uh, with just the top portion of the showing. So what we'll do is we'll grab that mask uh, item and we'll drag it and drop it onto our timeline here on the V2 track, so it's just underneath this. And what we need to do is select the mask and just change the position. So we need to move this downward. You can see the, uh, the Y position at 540 here. We need to just slide this down. So I'm going to increase this. And you can see we would just increase it to 1080. That's the height of our uh, video clip here. And you can see that that's just exactly going to butt it up against our other mask. In fact, if I go like 1079, we're going to have just a little bit of a gal. Oh, you know what, actually, that looks... I feel like I'm, I'm falling into a trap here. I'm going to go with 1080, and we'll adjust it if we get a little bit of a faint line when we put this together, because I, I believe it should be 1080. Um, so we've adjusted our position, and what we're going to do now is apply another linear wipe to this mask. I'm going to drag this mask out as well, just so it's just as long as um, our original mask. And now linear wipe is on this mask, and we're basically going to do the same thing. So I'm going to set transition completion to 100%. That's our beginning position. And hit the little stopwatch to add a keyframe. And then I'm going to go out 1, 2, 3. Well, I'm going to down shift and 1, 2, 3 with my right arrow key. And I'm going to set transition completion to 0, and it's going to auto keyframe that. The problem with this is, is it's going to swipe in from the same side. What if I wanted to swipe from the other side? Well, what we can do is here on wipe angle, we want to flip this completely over and set it to negative 90. So what that's going to do now is it's going to come from the other angle. But remember, we want to match. We have like that slicing angle on the top of mask that's sliding in. We want to match it down here. So let's try negative 110, see what that looks like. I actually think I want it to go the other direction. So what that means is we would actually be negative 70. So you can see it's slicing that way for the bottom and it's slicing the same exact way for the top. So we're going to get this nice double swiping transition. Um, and the way that this is going to work now, we can close the animated masks. And you can see here, if we play through the video, we're just going to get this you know, swipe and swipe. So what we need to do is we need to convert this top animated mask 
uh, a top animated mask, a nested object to an actual mask. We just have it named mask. So here's how you do this. Uh, under video effects, we're going to go to the keying folder and we're going to choose track matte key. We're going to drag this and drop it on the south hyphen five MOV. So the video is down here. We've got our, our theoretical mask on top of it. Now, all that needs to be done is we need to select that uh, video clip under track matte key. We need to choose from matte video three. Why video three? Well, that's V3. That is the track on which our animated mask is sitting. So we need to say video three. And now what's going to happen here if we play through this, check this out. So I'm going to go ahead and play it. We get our first swipe. It's going to hang for a couple seconds and our second swipe comes right through after it and it looks pretty pixel perfect to me. So that's really pretty much it. And uh, obviously you can take this effect in like a thousand different directions, literally and figuratively. And it's just a, a really, really cool way to create a transition here in Premiere Pro. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a little like on this video. Drop a comment down below if you feel so inclined. Uh, what are some cool transitions you know of in Premiere Pro? Make sure you subscribe to my channel. That way you never miss another video editing tutorial in the future. And for creating linear wipe animated transitions and animating masks, animating double masks within nested sequences in Premiere Pro, that's it. Get it, got it, good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.